I'm toxic and my family is too powerful. I have many brothers like bacteria, virus, oxygen radical and various heavy metals. Each of them has a unique skill. I rarely lose in damaging your kidney function. First, I enter human body while human hair is. Nasal hair and nasal mucus can block out foreign bodies. 19% particulate matters with a diameter larger than 10 microns all die in this place except me. Second, upper respiratory tract, cilia, 10 microns, flaps 20 times a second. But my body is light. It's a shame to try to stop me. Third, lower respiratory tract is the place where we can show ourselves. French-like, bronchi, makes us very excited. We enter your blood directly with bronchi and flow with your blood. Blood vessels are the best transport channels. We fight against white cells and lymphocytes and other cells all the way. Therefore, human body can experience various inflammation. We eventually arrive at our main battleground, the kidneys. Kidney blood vessels can transport us to the terminal of kidney itself, glomerular capillary. And the kidney intrinsic cells are our main attack. We also have a group of blade fighters. Their diameter is less than 0.1 micron and can enter cellular organelles across cell membrane. This can reduce the enzyme activity and result in oxidative stress in cells. Finally, kidney intrinsic cells will be mixed together and withered. Glomerular capillaries will be sclerosis and necrosis, and other serials of kidney lining occur. Hatefully, human beings invent detoxification therapy. They use special Chinese medicine to kill us. This is a bloody war, and we have nowhere to run. These drug guards can come into kidney intrinsic cells directly, wake the enzyme up and boost its activity. The enzyme becomes strong, and we are not their opponents. My brothers in blood are even miserable. Some are killed and some are broken up. Worse worse, these medicine guards will carry away our brothers' dead bodies and clean up these dead bodies were three different ways. First, the medicines can arrive at subcutaneous capillary vessels through the blood, then came into interstitial fluid through the capillaries, and finally remove the dead body out of your body while sweet glands. Second, the medicines can come into glomerular capillaries through the blood, and with the glomerular filtration, dead bodies can be excreted out into the urine third via interstitial capillary network. They can take the dead bodies into interstitial excretory system. They clean our dead bodies through the intestinal detoxification system. These hateful drug gas and hateful human beings, as long as you are still breathing and have bad life habits, I will surely come back. Hello friends, here is the nephrologist online video, consultation of Beijing Tongshan Tao Hospital of traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, today we are lucky to have Professor Mao Yan joining us, and uh, welcome Professor. Hi, 大家好。上次呢,我们讲了糖尿病肾病是个什么病。这次呢,我们主要讲的题目是呢,为什么会得糖尿病肾病? Okay, hello everyone, and the last time we talked about what is diabetic nephropathy, and today we will mainly talk about uh, why people can get the diabetic nephropathy. 糖尿病肾病,就是首先我们说要了解一下糖尿病。糖尿病导致人体代谢异常,细胞,就是脂肪细胞的堆积,凋亡过度。致使人体细胞的抗炎和自炎平衡不断地向自炎偏移what is the causation of urine protein edema and uh, elevated blood pressure, elevated serum creatinine? Uh, diabetes calls this the abnormal metabolism, accumulation of the fat cells, and excessive apop uh, apoptosis.
causing the anti-inflammatory and the inflammation balance of human cells to shift to the inflammation, increase the release of uh, inflammatory factors such as the tumor necrosis factor and also the interleukin-6 led to the damage of the kidney's innate cell, a leakage of plasma protein into the urine and also the urine protein, uh, which clinical um, manifestations becoming uh, edema, hypertension, and also the decrease the renal function, and this will occur the diabetic nephropsy. 中医呢认为糖尿病呢肾病呢主要是因为气阴两虚病久极肾气虚不能化水水阻呢就是生成了湿阴虚呢生热练血气虚不能行血则生淤血湿瘀呢互相互结就发展到四身四重的状态这个